Module 7, Personal Protective Equipment. Protecting employees from workplace hazards. Employers must protect employees from hazards such as falling, objects, harmful substances, and noise exposure that can cause injury. Employers must use all feasible engineering and work practice controls to eliminate and reduce hazards. Use personal protective equipment, PPE, if the controls don't eliminate the hazard. PPE is the last level of control. Engineering controls. If the machine or work environment can be physically changed to prevent employee exposure to the potential hazard, then the hazard can be eliminated with an engineering control. Work practice controls. If employees can be removed from exposure to the potential hazard by changing the way they do their jobs, then the hazard can be eliminated with a work practice control. Examples of PPE. I, safety glasses, goggles, face, face shields, head, hard hats, feet, safety shoes, hands and arms, gloves, bodies, vest, hearing, earplugs, earmuffs. Eye protection. When must eye protection be provided? When any of these hazards are present. Dust or other flying particles such as metal shavings or sawdust. Corrosive gases, vapors, or liquids. Molten metal that may splash. Potentially infectious materials such as blood or hazardous liquid chemicals that may splash. Intense light from welding or lasers. Eye protection for employees who wear eyeglasses. Ordinary glasses do not provide the required protection. Proper choices include prescription glasses with side shields and protective lenses. Goggles that fit comfortably over corrective glasses without disturbing the glasses. Goggles that incorporate corrective lenses mounted behind protective lenses. Safety glasses made with metal slash plastic safety frames. Most operations require side shields. Used for moderate impact from particles produced by jobs such as carpentry, woodworking, grinding, and scaling. ANSI Z87 are types of protective eyewear. Goggles protects eyes and area around the eyes from impact, dust, and splashes. Some goggles fit over corrective lenses. Face shields, full face protection, protects face from dust and splashes or sprays of hazardous liquids, does not protect from impact hazards, wear safety glasses or goggles underneath. Welding shields, protects eyes against burns from radiant light. Protects face and eyes from flying sparks, metal spatter, and slag chips produced during welding, brazing, soldering, or cutting. Head protection. Causes of head injuries. Falling objects such as tools. Bumping head against objects 
such as pipes or beams. Contact with exposed electrical wiring or components. Selecting the right hard hat. Class G. General service. Building construction, shipbuilding, lumbering. Good impact protection, but limited voltage protection. Class E. Electrical slash utility work. Protects against falling objects and high voltage shock and burns. Class C. Designed for comfort offers limited protection, protects against bumps from fixed objects, but does not protect against falling objects or electrical shock. Hats off test. We agree that if you are the type of individual whose head meets the standards for protection, you don't need a hard hat. Those feeling they qualify should contact your supervisor for testing. Upon satisfactory completion of the test, you will receive a beautiful embossed certificate suitable for framing. It identifies your head as conforming to American National Standards Institute, ANSI Z89.2 Class A, B, C, and D. You will also receive a wallet size card that must be carried on the job. The test goes like this. You will receive a 24 hour water immersion test. Maximum permitted absorption is 0.5% by weight. Next, the impact test. While in horizontal position, with head upon a steel plate, an 8-pound steel ball will be dropped upon your head from a height of 15 feet. You must suffer no damage. Your head will then be subjected to a variety of acid, solvents, and oils. Once again, you may suffer no damage. 4. A propane torch will be used to determine if your head is fire resistant. If only slow burning, you will receive an A or a B rating. If holes appear in your head, a C or D rating will be given. In the final test, your head must sustain 2200 volts AC 60 Hertz for three minutes with leakage current not exceeding 9 milliampers. All tests must be conducted at a variety of temperatures ranging from minus 20 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If you feel you cannot qualify, don't despair. Although not as pretty as your hairdo, the hard hat does provide protection from all of the above. Foot protection. When must foot protection be provided? When any of these are present, Heavy objects such as barrels or tools that might roll onto or fall on employees' feet. Sharp objects such as nails or spikes that might pierce or near shoes. Molten metal that might splash on feet. Hot or wet surfaces. Slippery surfaces. Safety shoes, impact resistant toe and heat resistant soles protect against hot surfaces common in roofing and paving. Some have metal insoles to protect against puncture wounds. 
may be electrically conductive for use in explosive atmospheres or non-conductive to protect from workplace electrical hazards. Hand protection. What kinds of protective gloves are available? Durable gloves made of metal mesh, leather, or canvas. Protects from cuts, burns, heat. Fabric and coated fabric gloves. Protects from dirt and abrasion. Chemical and liquid resistant gloves. Protects from burns, irritation, and dermatitis. Rubber gloves. Protects from cuts, lacerations, and abrasions. Types of rubber gloves. Nitrile. Protects against solvents, harsh chemicals, fats, and petroleum products, and also provides excellent resistance to cuts and abrasions. Brutal. Provides the highest permeation resistance to gas or water vapors. Other types of gloves. Kevlar protects against cuts, splashes, and abrasions. Stainless steel mesh protects against cuts and lacerations. Body protection. Body protection Criteria for selection. Provide protective clothing for parts of the body exposed to possible injury. Types of body protection. Vest, aprons, jackets, coveralls, full body suits. Body protection. Examples given. Hearing protection. Please study the slide. When must hearing protection be provided? After implementing engineering and work practice controls. When an employee's noise exposure exceeds an eight hour time weighted average TWA, sound levels of 90 dBA. Examples of hearing protection are shown on this slide.